along with family and friends, protested today in light of the two year anniversary of her son's death. As Brianna Aldridge reports, the family says they want justice for their loved one. I'm very upset about how the way they took my father. I believe that they really didn't have to do that. So now I'm going to grow up without a father. Autopsy report, it does not say he died due to drugs. It says he died due to homicide. Sandra Como is outraged because she says on the night of June 17, 2018, her son Nathaniel was murdered by Karen Crow police officers. On the death certificate, it lists Nathaniel's cause of death as homicide. But police chief David Anderson says homicide is one of the only three categories listed on death certificates. Anderson says because you see homicide doesn't mean it isn't justifiable. Why would you have to tase somebody three times? And then after you tase them and you stop their heart, how can you just let somebody lay on the ground on their stomach? The ambulance had to tell them to uncuff them. As their protests continued, one family member and her son say, they witness what happened, and it's a night that continues to haunt them. I'm a witness. My son is 10 years old. He witnessed that. He videoed it. To this day, he has to be on medication to try for the sleep. Karen Crow Police Chief says because of civil litigation, he's not able to go into great detail. However, says in part, anytime a life is lost, it's tragic for all parties involved, including the officers. Time for justice, and I'm asking for them to reopen my son's case at the district attorney's office. In Karen Crow, I'm Brianna Aldridge, KTC TV3.